over 50 on carnivore. I'm curious, what are your questions? I can tell you that uh, I'm about 80 days out right now, just kind of moving around a little bit, not to make anybody dizzy, but uh, it is fall here in Missouri. So I wanted to make a, a, another piece of content, maybe that had a little bit more, more dynamic, you walking around and that kind of thing. So, like I said, I'm 50 plus. I'm on carnivore currently. I've had challenges uh, like anybody does. Um, but I'm curious, what are your questions? I mean, either for me, like with my journey, again, this is not medical advice. I'm not a medical professional. I am just simply a person that refuses to live um, the way that I've lived. And I want to have a, I want to have a better life. That's why I'm doing it. And, um, so that I can enjoy the, my time. Whoa, here we come into the sun. Oh, that's bright. It's adjusting. That's cool. It is bright though. Um, I want to enjoy, we don't know how long we have here on this earth, right? So I'm just, this is my attempt to document my journey. And like I said, the content of the video is over 50 on carnivore. What are your questions? So I'm down from 305 again, weighed in today. I'm still at uh, 237. So 80 days out, that's not too bad. As you can see behind me, I've got uh, my unfinished, it's in the works, my unfinished privacy fence. But the thing to that is, is I've been doing it more or less by myself. I had some, some folks help me with uh, putting the posts in. So that was cool getting that help because that's, you know, a whole process in and of itself. I kind of wish I'd done a video about putting in the fence, but that's not why you're here. You're here to know about carnivore. So in a nutshell, like I said, I'm over 50. I'm on carnivore. I bet you have questions and I might have answers, at least for my situation. Um, one thing I'd also note is that um, myself in particular, part of the reason that I got onto the carnivore diet to begin with is because um, I am or was um, morbidly obese, which leads to um, lots of problems, uh, cardiovascular, you name it, right? I have, um, I have autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's thyroid. Um, I've been taking Synthroid for a long time, probably won't ever get off that one. But obviously metabolically, when you start, uh, when you're morbidly obese, you run into other things, sleep apnea, uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, metabolic syndrome, as they call it, um, you know, low T, that low testosterone, that kind of thing. So that's a lot of what I've run into. So I hope I've at least shared a little bit of my story. Um, my question for you, like I said, is please comment on this video. Let me know what things about the journey for me that you'd be interested in knowing, because for those of you that are out there, perhaps that are in my past situation of being morbidly obese to now just being obese, type two, I think is type two obese, and then there's type one obese, and then there's overweight, right? And then there's normal, because I'm five foot nine. So according to the, you know, the guidelines, um, I need to get down to 169 to actually be considered normal. My goal weight is 180. That's where I, that's where I really kind of want to get. So we'll see how that goes. I want to get to 180. Um, I said today, 237. So hopefully that's in the works. I mean, I just, you know, I'm just doing the thing. I'm doing, I'm doing what I need to do. Now, like I said, I will be honest right up, right up front. Probably some folks that are wondering, um, you know, it's not all, it's not a, it's not a cakewalk. It's not an overnight fix. It's something that you need to dedicate to 100%. You can't just say one day, I'm going to just do this and then slip off and have a pizza or, or a hamburger or French fries or whatever. You've got, to, you've got to actively commit yourself to this process, which is what I've done for the last 80 days. And I wasn't even going to post any videos until day 90, but I figured, you know, that's maybe that's not the best thing. Maybe I should start doing it. And, I, and honestly, I wish I'd started doing it um, a lot sooner on my journey. Um, so anyway... Uh, yeah, I, like I said, from day three, just a quick update on that from day three for me, um, my A1C went down 
from like being like 300, 305 pounds. After three days of being on this, my A1C has not been, or excuse me, my, my blood sugar level, my blood sugar level has not been um, above 110. In fact, I wake up most mornings 78, 83, sometimes 91 if I ate late or something like that. But again, I'm just, I'm eating meat. But I don't, I'm not like, uh, I'm not on the line diet. I am doing, um, I don't know, some version of carnivore, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just, I've, I've followed uh, a lot of other YouTubers on here uh, and, and look for information on my own. I've talked with my, my uh, uh, doctor. I've talked with several of my doctors about it and they're so excited and impressed that I've lost so much weight. But like I said, three days in, my um, my blood sugar level was uh, less than 110, and it stayed there. So I did an A1C test, and I have a video up in here somewhere that you can watch about that, uh, where I do it live. Like, I'm actually taking my A1C as you're watching. Um, and it went from, it was 7.3 on the last check, and this time uh, it was um, 6.0. So now, technically, if I'm going by the... Uh, by the, you know, diabetes standard or whatever, I am technically pre-diabetic. So, and that was like 10 pounds ago, I think, thereabouts. So I'm very curious to see what my next levels are going to look like. Um, they'll probably, I mean, I'm hoping that they're dropped below six. Now, that said, and in all honesty, to be, you know, 100% of, uh, oh, these bugs out here. I got these Japanese beetles or whatever they're called. Um, anyway, um, Kind of look like ladybugs, but whatever, here in Missouri. Um, yeah, I have to go in and get some more tests done. I'm getting a new endo um, because of all my stuff. And the bug just totally distracted me, so apologies. Um, yeah, I'll probably cut this part of the video and cut back in so I can remember I was going, my dog's barking the whole bit. Um, I really wanted to do an uncut video where I just let it roll and you watch it or you don't. You tune in, you tune out. Again, the name of the video uh, probably is going to be over 50 on carnivore. Um, what are your questions? You know, because I want to, like I said, I want to answer anything I can for anybody. Um, oh, I did mention earlier that I was going to. So the only like, because nobody ever really talks about the negatives. And I'm not a cult carnivore person or whatever. Um, I just found through my research and, and watching lots of videos and looking up lots of research about carnivore that for me in my situation of being sorry i had to check the lab in my situation of being morbid obese i've got to do something i got to do it now because everything else i've tried in the past never worked for me okay never worked and so i said i'm going to do this and i've committed to it and for me it's been the best thing i could have ever done you know what i mean so again, I'm not a cult person. I'm not going to get on the bandwagon of smashing veggies versus meat's the only way or veggies are the only way or getting on that social political bandwagon or whatever. Um, I think there's some really great uh, people in the space that are talking about all sorts of different um, diet modifications that we can do to make ourselves a better version of ourselves. I think for me, having been morbidly obese, this is what I had to do because it's been the only thing I could do and I actually stuck to it. I don't get cravings, I don't do any of that stuff. My sleep apnea has gone down, that's another thing. From like two point something uh, events per hour to now um, I've been as low as 0 0.2 events per hour. So I can't even imagine, I'm like just past the halfway point, what's it gonna be like when, I'm, uh, when I get down to um, my goal weight, 180? And or if I continue to push past that and try to get to this 169 normal uh, weight. I I don't know that I've been, I think I was 169. At one point I was vegan when I was like 22. So uh, I think I was probably like, you know, 160, 165 at that point. But that was a long time ago. So I don't even know if for me if that's actually healthy. I'm kind of a, um, a stockier, I've been more muscular all my life. So I think that that standard of, oh, 169, that makes you normal. If you're, uh, if you're above 160, like 180 or something that you're overweight, well, according to the BMI, that makes me still overweight. Um, although, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I, what happens at 180. Am I where I should be? Is my dog gonna say, hey, this is a good spot? On that note, what I wanna mention is that um, for those watching, you know, and again, I'm not part of the carnivore cult. 
Um, I, I, I talk about it. I'm using, I'm utilizing it. I'm not a medical professional, but I do intend at some point um, to go back to, well, not go back to, but maybe something a little bit more, um, maybe something a little bit more uh, a combo. Like I've heard the, the term ketovore, that kind of thing. I may go to a ketovore kind of thing. Like I love sugar and I love carbs. They love me, but my body doesn't love them. So I have to be real careful with that. Obviously, I'll be checking my sugars and stuff, but I don't even intend to bring vegetable one, if I can help it, vegetable one into my diet until I break underneath 200. And then from there, I might start letting it, it's going to be a slower process to get to that 180. Those last 20 pounds are going to be probably the toughest because um, I'll be bringing back in really healthy things like healthy fats, like avocado, coconut oil, um, um, broccoli, some other things. Um, and maybe those, somebody's going to say, those aren't the best choices. Don't do those things. You know, stay with the meat. That's it. That's all you need. I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. But for me, it's kind of like my instinct is saying, Hey, you know what? At some point I can go back to a little bit more of a blend. And cause I think like, for instance, there's a lot of, there's a lot of folks on the space and I'm, again, I'm not slamming anybody. Everybody's journey is their own. Um, this is just mine. But there are people in the space who are, um, you know, they're gym rats, okay? They're younger. They're like, oh, carnivore, that's going to help me get ripped or whatever. And, they, and, you know, maybe it works for me first. And I, and I hear about a lot of people quitting like, oh, man, this carnivore really messed me up or whatever to, for the gym rat people. And those are people that are like either they're already in shape. They're already not overweight. They're just looking for that little extra mm, something to get ripped or whatever. Um, I don't know. Like, I wonder if, you know, when you're at that point, is carnivore really right for you? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I, you know, the neg it's the negativity about it that, and the, the message that a lot of these bigger channels are pushing out, some of them, I don't know that it's right or fair. And that's across the board. I don't think it's right or fair to just say, that's wrong, that's wrong, blanket statement. Everybody's different. I'm different. You're different. We're all going to have different, uh, different experiences. <laughs> Check the mic. Different experiences and, um, on this on this diet okay last thing final thing for this one um my negatives about carnivore and at the, currently okay this is the one thing and this is really i'm really speaking to uh the folks that are morbidly obese that are thinking about starting this diet obviously i'm not a medical doctor i'm not offering medical advice this is just what i've done one of the first things i did when i started was i went to my my doctor and told him hey this is what's happening Marty, at that point i was already down 20 pounds he's like Oh my God, man, you're looking great. Keep it up, you know? So I got the, like, kind of the, flat, you know, the thumbs up, went to my kidney guy. He said, everything looks good. And I've seen a couple of the doctors on a couple other things, but not really had a full lab panel yet, which I will in November. Um, and I'll talk about that later. So the two, the two things that I've been struggling with, and again, I said, this is really targeted for the morbidly obese people. Cause I think this is probably a challenge you may face as a, a challenge that I'm facing. Sorry, I'm bashing the microphone. Um, yeah. Um, is obviously going number two, um, since day one, I'm 80 days out. Um, and not to be, um, vulgar, but it's not been, um, not solid. Let's just put it that way. Not solid. And I think part of the reason is because, um, some people, when you move from strictly carbohydrate sugar diet to carnivore diet, and if you do it like I did, which was like, bam, I just, I'm a black and white kind of person like that. Sometimes I'm just all or nothing. So I'm like, let's do it. And so in doing that, I think that I wasn't thinking about or wasn't really tuned into the idea that um, I'm not fat adapted yet. My body's not fat adapted. My gallbladder basically had been sleeping, you know, had been asleep. So I think when you go start doing a super high fat intake, you got these, you know, ribeyes and whatever else, and you're eating all this fat and it's like, oh my God, this is great. Well, for me about two, like literally like two weeks ago, a week ago, something like that, I started getting a little bit of discomfort here at the top of my, uh, right here on the right side, which every, you know, most people know that means gallbladder stuff. Okay. Now I've not had sharp pain. It's come and gone. It's like after meals, that kind of thing. Um, I did find a supplement and I'll say it's not ox bile, taking a different kind of thing. Um, I don't want to talk about the actual, uh, um, it's a supplement, but I don't want to talk about it yet at this point because I'm honestly, I want to wait until I'm going to my, my doc 
back to my GP next week. So we're going to talk about that and kind of see what he has to say. Maybe probably going to do a scan on my, you know, my gallbladder. But I do know there was some imaging done not too long ago where um, it said no stones seen in the gallbladder. And that was a different kind of scan, but it did pick up the gallbladder and pancreas was normal or uh, what do they say? Uh, nothing visualized or, or um, un, um, unremarkable or something like that. So um, I think hopefully overall I'm in good shape. That was like a month ago, those, those other, those scans. So I would, again, word of caution, um, not medical advice is to, if you are morbidly obese and you're starting carnivore, for number one, please talk with your doctor about it. Tell them about your plan. And because, you know, they may or may not uh, say to, hey, watch out, not too much fats. So I can tell you at this this point, gang, wow, I've got all these little, like, gnats all over the place. It's crazy. Yeah, Missouri in the fall. Um, one of the things they may say is, like, hey, go easy on the fats, because that's what I didn't do, because I was watching videos that were saying, hey, eat all the fat you want, <laughs> you know? Eat all the fat you want, because guess what? You're not going to gain any weight, right? And all that stuff. And I'm not going to get into the whole uh, into the whole thing about like, because again, I can't really speak to it. But like, um, am I going to have? Is it going to hurt my heart and all this stuff? From what I think I know, for me, no, it's not going to. Um, I think sugar and carbohydrates are the absolutely worst thing, and processed foods and all the things. I'm not going to go down the list. Those things are all terrible for us. Okay, and I think probably. You know, carnivore is doing its thing, but I think also not doing any of that. Like, I haven't been to a restaurant. I've been to one time I went to a restaurant two days after I started with colleagues. We were starting the semester. I'm a university professor, and uh, we went for barbecue. And um, I don't know how they – I didn't even use any sauce, but I don't know how they treated the meat or rubbed it or something like that. But, I mean, for the next two days, my stomach was just rocked. So since then, you know, so basically like 77 days, I have not been to a restaurant one. The only thing I do is maybe I go to Starbucks and have like a, a decaf iced tea or I have an Americano. I've cut out all of that dairy stuff uh, for the most part. The only quote dairy that I have at this point is um, butter, a little bit of butter with my eggs in the morning. Um, I do my salt mostly at night with my meats. Like, And to the, to the meat end, like I said, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm not strictly... Um, lion diet or only red meat or only um, ruminant animals or that kind of thing. I am doing, um, I mix it up. I do, I do salmon, you know, wild caught salmon. I do um, free range chicken and I do still manage to do it with skin. Cause I said, like I started taking a supplement. So I think that that's helping to calm the, my gallbladder down a little bit. It has helped. That supplement has helped a little bit. Uh, to calm that down, that process, because it's designed to, again, it's not oxbile. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's um, <clears throat> designed to kind of help give your gallbladder a break for one. Um, and then it's also, it just helps with the whole digestion process. And I believe, if I understand correctly, it's post stomach. It's kind of where, even though you're dropping it in your stomach, you're taking the pill, it still kind of works in the post way. Like it doesn't, I guess, unlike from what I've heard, don't quote me on this. I'm not a doctor is that ox bile can actually meddle with your um, uh, acid, you know, acid versus alkaline in your stomach. So I didn't want to mess with that because I, f I felt like, you know, before I started carnivore, everything on the number two front, perfect, no problems. Okay. It's only now because I'm obviously not fat adapted and my body just needs more time because I was morbidly obese. Makes sense, right? So I'm just trying to give it a little help uh, with the supplement, but more so, more importantly for me, I am, um, you know, eat, like I said, eating, uh, lean pork, um, you know, natural lean pork, uh, grass fed chicken, grass fed eggs, uh, as, as you know, wild caught salmon. And in fact, in the last week, I haven't even had a red meat. I, I'm, I've got a whole freezer full, a quarter cow in there of, of Angus beef. That's like farm raised, no, no antibiotics, none of that stuff. I'm like dying. I'm like, oh my God, I want to have a ribeye so bad. But I've been reluctant because I'm like, okay, I got to just let this gallbladder thing calm down. Maybe try these supplements, see if it helps, um, which I think they are. I mean, every now and then I'll get a little twinge. You know, check this lab and see if it's still working, I hope. Uh-oh. That might be it. 